Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the steps uh, of making this family. It's a parametric casework. If we open the type properties of it, we can see the depth, height, and thickness of these panels with the width. So um, let's go and open new new family and then choose the casework. If you open it, it's a default uh, environment, let's say. You can see we do have a width, depth, and we do have also the height parameter already. So we don't need to repeat them and to make it. Um, in this case, let's say, I will just say that um, my depth will be maybe 1 6, and then the height gonna be, let's say, 4, and then the width gonna be 3. Okay, for now, and say okay. Um, if I just uh, open it again, let's just take a screenshot from it, okay, for now. And then let me just close it. I don't need to, to see this one again. Okay, so um, as you see, we, we just uh, now identify the, the depth the height and uh, uh, the width we 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 do, we do need another parameter which is the thickness of these uh, of these profiles uh, and as you see we do have let's say a rectangular uh, shape at the beginning uh, we can use it if i want to go into a very detailed one i can draw each panel alone okay so i'm going to, to to draw this panel and then this one and then this one and then that one so this is it gonna take time right but like it will be more uh, detailed one but for now what I'm gonna do is just um, as you see I select this reference plane its, it's name is back and this one is is the front one so if I open from my elevations the front elevation I can directly see the height parameter I can directly start uh, working or just drawing a set to make sure that I selected the right one in this case I'm going to select the back uh, reference plane and say okay I'm going to select the rectangle one select this corner and drag it and click on this corner directly I will lock each one into uh, the reference plane and now I can either directly uh, put an offset for it they say I'm I'm going to make it like uh, three over four inches, okay. And then select the same corner, click space in order to make it into uh, inside, not outside, and then select the other corner. Now I do need to make a little parameter which is which will define the thickness of these panels, okay. So I I will click the I for uh, dimension. Click tab in order to select it. Select these dimensions or these uh, thicknesses again. This one and that one. And now select one of them. Go to create parameter. And let's say let's call it um, the edge or thickness or panel thickness thickness if you want. Okay, make it as a type parameter and say okay. Select these and choose the one you just created. Say okay. Go to reference level. Make sure to drag this one and lock it into this front uh, reference plane. Try to drag this one and put it again into the back reference plane and say okay and lock it. So if I just open the 3D now, okay, and try uh, to test it. So I will just go and say that I want my. Uh, we didn't lock actually actually the, the the height. I think we did. Let's let's try five, and then five, and then uh, two. Say I'm like okay, it's it's good. So cancel, Control Z. Uh, make sure I will just go to front elevation. 
I think yeah, we did we did lock it into place, so it's it's good. It's now uh, aligned with this reference plane. And as you see, when I try to drag it, it says like it's a constrained one, so I'll cancel. Good. Um, now we do have the back one, this this one. So I will go to reference level, create extrusion, and then create a rectangle. I can either draw this as a, a box, okay, a rectangular uh, box, solid one, and make a void in it. It's one option, or I can do this way, which is just uh, make another rectangle, select it, select this dimension. Sorry, let's just create another dimension. Let's just create it like this and select it and give it just the thickness again. And make sure that it's aligned, AL for aligned. This one with that one, and, the, and then say lock and say OK. So I open my 3D, make um, go to front, align this one with that one, say OK. I will just uh, select it. Let me just go to front elevation, go to front one, drag it and put it back again. Um, what I'm going to do now, just for a second, I will select this reference level and MV for move, move it the right in this way i will make sure that i'm selecting the reference plane so lock it again go to 3d and now we're gonna test it again so five four let's say okay everything is working well Control z Control z for now let's just make sure that it's uh, four three okay Now I'm going to, uh, to 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 set or create some reference planes in order to make these divisions, okay, these panels. So uh, I'm going to open my front elevation, um, RP for reference plane. Create one, maybe only one or two as you like, and again another one in here. And another one in here. I will click the eye, select this one, this one, and that one, and place them, and then equal again for this, and equal again for this. Sorry. equal now if i draw something on these panels it will um, be aligned to it directly so an extrusion and then create any box in here make sure that di from this to this to this and say equal and di Make sure that it's aligned or it's going to take the panel thickness. So directly, since it's equal, so this space is going to be the same. So I will select this one, C, C, from this reference plane, this one. Something wrong. Let me just see. C, C. Um, Reference plane into this. Okay, let me see. Just say okay. Drag it into this one. Do not like um, align it with the reference plane now. Just align it with this uh, this line and then I lock it. This and this. CC for now. Let me see. Don't work. Yeah, it does. Make sure it's locked. And let me just keep this one. I will draw the horizontal one for now. Like this. 
the same way the eye Hold them. and then she's going to take the stickers okay lock it and then lock it see or into here maybe we can just keep this side as it is like three and for this one let me see what we can do maybe just like bring this one cancel um remove constraint let me see what are we changing the parameter MV. align um, this one with this one okay it's changing the parameter let me just delete this one for now and then cs or just cc from this to this and bring it back into this side lock this one and then lock it in here so it's uh, okay I would like I will just keep it in this way what we noticed now we didn't assign the depth of them select this one and either AL directly for aligning into this and this one and this one and this one so now they are all lined into the same depth and open this one maybe one apply okay yeah or uh, one six so let's go. let me even try to change now the height five four yes eight or good so this is it i think so you can divide it as you want let's say i like it to be completely like this for now um i will select all these extrusions and from the material one i can let me just even give it a, a parameter so add one material and then say okay okay open your uh, family types and select it um okay let's open this one home so you see materials go to wood select maybe this one first material and then from the colors i will just select this white color from the appearance it will i will keep it uh, as it is Apply. Okay. Open a new project. Then go to your family. Load it and close. You can save it. I don't want to save it for now. And place it anywhere. You can see it now very well. Click on. You can e you can even what you can do is just um, select uh, join command or modify join and start joining these elements these panels together. Okay, so now they are all as one. Lower and close now and override. Yeah, now it's more clear. GD for uh, graphic smooth one shadow lighting make it as and the client like this or this so that's how we can create such a family